Yo, yo, this is support Chris right here. So good morning, guys. I just woke up right now, and today, um, we're gonna be talking about an update trade on who the Lakers are going to get. And so far, there's been rumors saying that the Lakers are targeting Chicago Bulls young star Laurie Markkinen. I believe he's a power for a small for a center, but the Lakers are thinking they want to acquire Laurie Markkinen from the Chicago Bulls, and this is what the Chicago Bulls the Lakers told the Lakers that um, if you want to receive Laurie Markkinen, they have to involve Kyle Kuzma and some couple of players, and I heard that the Lakers do that deal. The Lakers can get like Thomas Sorvaransky, I forgot his name, along with Laurie Markkinen for Kyle Kuzma. And Laurie Markkinen, he puts up similar plays and similar games, similar stats than Kyle Kuzma, except he, sh he shoots below the Kyle Kuzma on the field and three point percentage. His three point percentage is 20% this year, which I know that's not really that good at all. Field goal wise, he shoots 40%. Kyle Kuzma, like I say, he shoots 33%. Behind the arc this season, he shoots 45% on field goals. So, we talked about this though. Larry Markin and Kyle Kuzma, they both play similar, except Kyle Kuzma shoots a little bit better than Larry Markin this year. And I'm actually going to read you the um, sources and update post about this trade right now. Um, give me a second. Now, the only reason why they want to talk about trading Kyle Kuzma because Kyle Kuzma has been a major disappointment this year because they are calling him a third all star with him and LeBron AD and so far. He hasn't really showed a big, big time, you know, except he's putting up 70 points, 15 points. That's pretty decent, but if you're going to be called a third all star, you need to put up at least 20 or 25, though. So far, Kyle Kuzma, he's been a little major disappointment this year, and I understand that ankle sprain is the reason why he's been a little bit rusty, but he should be getting his rhythm by now, so. And, uh, yeah, so the Bulls told the Lakers that if you want to get Larry Markkinen, it will have to cost Kyle Kuzma. And I really don't think the Lakers they should trade Kyle Kuzma for Larry Markkinen. I mean, Mar Larry Markkinen, he plays D, though, I heard he's a good rim protector. He's a really good offensive rebounder, defensive rebounder, but I'm not really too sure if we put all our hopes on Larry Markkinen, you know, because we're talking about this guy, dude. He's been with the Bulls, and what he's done with the Bulls, dude, zero. Like, I understand the Bulls, dude. They've been tanking. They've been giving away a lot of good players for a bag of chips ahoy, but I'm just saying, though. And people are saying that it's really hard to imagine how Markkinen will be contributing at a lower level for the Bulls than what they could get out of the Lakers' power for Kyle Kuzma. They pretty much haven't talked about many stuff about Kyle Kuzma or why Lakers should get Larry Markkinen, but Larry Markkinen, like I said, um, this dude could play big, he can play post too, he can do other things than just shoot though. And the good thing is that he can grab rebounds over Kyle Kuzma. That sounds like Laurie Mark gonna play defense though, but I don't know man, I mean Laurie Mark and Kyle Kuzma are almost the same player with the same stats, but if I was a Lakers too, like I wouldn't even like fall for the bait. Like I would actually trade Kyle Kuzma and use him for the bad Bradley Beal trade. If not, then I'll find someone else, though. But at this moment, I don't want to think the Lakers that should trade Kyle Kuzma because Kyle Kuzma, like I said, that's their third all-star and future all-star potential off the bench. And I just feel like if you give Kyle Kuzma some couple more games, give him more minutes, though, by the time the playoff starts, he should be ready, though. Because last year, Kyle Kuzma had a blast season. Like, he had, like, a couple of 30, 40 points, though, with insane shooting. And now when he had an ankle sprain injury, he so far lost his rhythm. So I would say, um... Let's keep Kyle Kuzma off the trail unless there's an all-star available. But Lloyd Mark, on the other hand, if I was the Lakers too, I'll probably toss an AC instead, but I'm pretty sure the Lakers won't do that because they like the way how AC's playing. So if I was the Lakers dude, um, try to fool try to fool the Bulls if they can save Casey Pito. Now, I know the trade value's not going to work, but you know how the Bulls are, dude. They give away a lot of good players with bad skills. So, you know, that's just the Bulls, dude. They're always like that, but... My decision, um, I want Larry Marker in the Lakers because he can play D. He's a good enough to shoot for a big. But for Kyle Kuzma, dude, that's a little bit of a risk. So I would say I'm backing away from that trade if I was the Lakers only. But honestly, I want to know what's your guys' opinion. Should they go after Larry Markkinen, find someone else to trade for Larry Markkinen, or trade in Kyle Kuzma? Because honestly, trading Kyle Kuzma for Larry Markkinen, I feel like, you know, it's kind of like a bait trade to me, you know. Because Kyle Kuzma, like I say, he's already shown he is an all-star potential. Larry Mark, on the other hand, you know, he's been like, 
a little bit in and out with the low level bowl. So, if Lakers, if you're watching this video, dude, you should not be getting Larry Marken unless you're training someone else besides Kuzma. That was a part of the deal. You keep Kuzma or Ingram, but somehow you keep Kuzma. 